Hi everybody, it's Kathy here, and I'm doing BJD Addicts Prompt number 13, which is about clothes, and they had a variety of questions, and one of them was, do you make your own clothes? So, when Pet Took had her first doll, um, I think maybe even before the doll came, I was intrigued by the, the concept of one quarter scale, and I made some little necklaces and things for her. And then um, I started making uh, uh, crocheted hats and things like that. And I wanted to test them, and this has all been in stories before. So um, I did start out doing some crochet work and some knitting for dolls. Um, and then when I got my own dolls, I sort of continued with that. So this is probably my first piece of clothing I ever made for my dolls. And it was before my doll came in, pardon the dangling thread, and it was without a pattern. So I just, uh, it was based off um, the night dresses that they have at King's Landing, which is a historical settlement, um, which is, uh, well, it, just like this. I was never really 100% happy with it. I'm not sure that anyone's ever worn it in a picture because I didn't really get the neck and, and sleeve quite right. Um, at some point I discovered the um, everybody can make pants tutorial um, and I will put a link to that. There's also an everyone can make shirts and other things like that. So I went through a phase. In just a sec, I'm going to zoom out so I don't have to keep showing parts of it. There you go. So I made a pair of um, cords for everybody, cords or jeans, everybody that I had at the time. And um, this is, I just love the orange corduroy. Um, but they have, you know, they're not too bad. I wasn't 100% happy. I'm rarely 100% happy with things that I make. Um, I did a lot of pajama bottoms and pajama tops. I was doing a cosplay at one point, um, and Drew was going to be going as... Rainbow Dash, and so I had done this little set, and then I decided, well, someone may have indicated that they looked like pajamas, and so at that point I adjusted and added instead these really cute little blue shorts that I purchased, and I'm trying to remember who I purchased them from. I'll put that below too. Anyway, they're really, really cute. They came with the belt, and then I ordered the little Rainbow Dash uh, patch for her uh, pony stamp. Um, and then, let's see, then basically I got into buying things. One of the other thing, the last things that I got into making, and I did sell some... Um, well, I sold some BJD jewelry, and I sold some um, hats and scarves and things on a shop on Etsy, which I don't really, well, it's still there. It just doesn't ever have anything for sale. But this um, poncho is, is something that I got into making. And this was, there was a person on Etsy who had this design and was selling these... Um, in human size, and I just thought they were so cute. Um, so I made a, I've made a couple of those. There's a pink one, and there's this yellow one, um, and matching hats. So this one has a little green hat that goes with it. Um, so I've done that, and then, like I said, I got into buying things. And I've talked a lot in other videos about um, various people I like to buy things from, like. Wicked Stitchery has, has um, I have a lot of Wicked Stitchery clothing, um, and um, Brandon 
from Wicked Stitchery made my all my cosplays for my Firefly crew. Um, I've ordered from Alice's collection and from Dalmore and various places, um, and other Etsy sellers and that sort of thing. But I really am not. Um, there's no one single clothing company that I go, oh, I want to buy everything they've got, or or I want all my things to be from that that company. So. I'm not really stuck on a particular company. And we've talked a lot about um, clothing styles in, in other videos lately. So I will um, attempt to put a link on here or I'll put it down um, in the uh, video description uh, so that if you're curious, you can go see. Um, I think that's about all I have to say. Oh, except that one clothing issue that's always been a, um, well, it's always been an issue, is that I tend to get dolls that aren't the normal sizes or the standard sizes. And so, for instance, um, my Follow the White Rabbit, um, rabbit, it was hard to get clothes to fit her. Um, when I had, um, the sort of curvier doll's own body, I found it hard to get things that fit that properly um, because things that were made for the art body, um, leaky art, art body, um, were too big in the hips and so they just sort of floated on, on the doll, but anything with regular, you know, straight body clothing didn't really fit her very well either. Um, and I have my little 20 centimeter kids and they're not stunningly easy to find clothes for. I think these items she's currently wearing, um, I think I actually got the pants secondhand from Shannon Terrell, maybe, um, or Lynn Yates. Um, and uh, I did discover that New Banded um, sometimes carries a size that's um, Latte Yellow SP, and that is a f matches these guys. That's a fit. And I did finally find these cute little shoes. Shoes were an issue too. Um, it's hard to know. It's not that those sizes aren't out there. It's just that um, they're usually labeled for some other kind of doll, and um, I'm never sure what I'm getting. So um, I think that's all I'll say for today. This. This is Kathy, and I'll say goodbye, have a great day, and play with your BJDs.